everybody, Nicole Simonin here of Shape It Up Over 40 podcast, live video, all the above. <laughs> I um, wanted to jump on here because I actually missed yesterday's podcast day because usually I have a podcast out on Tuesday and I wanted to let you know what's going on. <laughs> so this past week has been um, very exciting. Lots of new things going on, lots of doors closing and doors opening in other directions. Um, so I had the opportunity to um, be a panelist on the women's conference in my local chamber. So shout out to them. Thank you so much for having me on. It was so much fun. It was really nice being a part of the program. Um, if you are watching this in time, they are going to be doing another part two next week. So I will leave the link below in the show notes and also in the podcast um, and the videos. The other thing that is happening is this Saturday, October 24th, 2020 will be my very first TEDx talk. And I am super excited about the TEDx talk. It is going to be virtual. So you can join me if you would like. I am going to be launching a watch party via Facebook. So if you're on that network, jump on and like Shape It Up and just let me know that you're interested. If you go into the events, there's an event posted. Um, let me know you want to in and when the watch party starts, I will make sure to invite you. Now, side note, <laughs> I've never done a watch party, so we'll see what happens, but definitely check it out on um, Shape It Up Facebook page, okay? Um, if you are listening to this podcast after October 24th, I'm going to leave the link for the TED Talk below also, and you can check that out. The TED Talk that I'm doing is called, Is Your Chair Making You Sick? Sitting with Dis-Ease. So definitely check it out. I give some great chair stretches that you can do while we're sitting here all zooming and listening to podcasts and just sitting a lot. Also on the watch party that I'm going to have, I am going to have an opportunity to have a live Q&A with me. So if you have any questions, now's the time to ask. So make sure you get in on that watch party. Again, it's October 24th, 2020 at 4 p.m. Eastern time. And again, to have access to that, just go to Shape It Up on Facebook, like it, look for the event, and let me know that you want in. Okay, so with that out of the way, I'm going to dive into today's topic. And today, because it's Halloween and it's coming up, and depending on where you're at, I know I've been talking to a bunch of different people as to what they're doing for Halloween, and some people are offering candy to the kids, some people are not, and either way is fine. But what we're going to talk about today is beware of the creepers. So I am not talking about Halloween spooks, all right? I'm talking about the food creepers. Have you ever noticed that you will find yourself very focused and you'll feel like you're on course, you're on the fitness wagon or whatever, you're just really in the zone with your weight loss goals and you've been seeing progress progress and then starts you'll like be making your coffee in the morning and you'll be like oh I'll just add a little more creamer or I'll add a little bit of sugar to my coffee I'm saying that because that's how I don't add sugar to my coffee but that's how I have the creepers start creeping in because I'll be like oh I'll have a little more creamer love my creamer um and then it'll start kind of like snowballing into other things like, oh, that pizza was so good. So maybe I'll just have an extra little piece or a little nibble of this, a little nibble of that. Oh, those cookies won't hurt. One more won't matter. And extra food starts creeping into your daily food that you're eating, your meals. And it starts creeping in back into your life. And it's so subtle that you may be aware of it. So just catch yourself What if you find yourself grabbing for a little bit more. Um, we are heading into the holidays. So usually Halloween is the jump start for lots of eating and going overboard. And I hope that you will hang with me through the holidays because I'm going to be offering some great tips to survive Halloween, <laughs> to survive Thanksgiving, 
and whatever holidays that you celebrate through. I know I celebrate Christmas in December, leading us up to January 1st, because I know a lot has been going on with COVID and some people are quarantining, some people are having numbers come up and you know, there's a lot of stress and there's a lot of anxiety, I think more than normal this year, understandably so. Um, but again, remember that is only your mindset. I know some of you may have a hard time chewing on that, but keep in mind your circumstances do not dictate your uh, reality to an extent. Um, you get to decide, basically, is a better way to say it. You get to decide what you want to do with COVID, what you want to do with whether or not you go to Halloween or not. So keep in mind that you get to react or not react to whatever situation that you are presented with. So make sure you are keeping an eye on whether you are grabbing for extra food. Um, I like to call it the snowball effect, right? Because once you start rolling down that hill, a lot of times you don't realize it until you've gained a couple pounds and then, you know, you, you quote unquote fallen off the fitness wagon, which by the way is not a real thing. It's you chose to eat, chose to eat, <laughs> you chose to eat the extra food. You always have a choice. And my best suggestion is, is just be aware of what you're doing, what thoughts you have, you know, there are sneaky thoughts that creep in. So keep an eye on that. I am a big proponent in eating whatever you want, but just keep in mind everything in moderation. So enjoy those Halloween treats. Just keep in mind, you know, you get always get to choose what your results will be. They're either leading you towards your results, your fitness goals, your weight loss goals, or they're leading you away from your fitness goals. All right. So I'm going to leave you with that. I do want to invite you to join my TEDx watch party October 24th, which is this Saturday, only a couple days away at 4 p.m. Eastern time. And make sure you go to Shape It Up over on Facebook, like the page and let me know that you want in. Um, remember there's going to be a live Q and A afterwards. So you get to chat with me and find out some burning questions that you have. Um, and I will see you there. Have a wonderful week and I'll see you on Saturday.